don't be afraid to speak out against what they teach in college. Welcome to the Dumb Dumb News Channel. I'm your host Dumb Dumb. Before we get started, Facebook is starting to censor my videos, so please make sure you subscribe on the other platforms. I recently joined Subscribestar, the link is in the description, please consider donating. This channel is dedicated to exposing the truth by sharing a side to stories that mainstream media and big tech won't show you. Help me trigger the YouTube algorithm by giving a like and sharing with someone you care about. Sources will be linked in the description, so you can read the full details yourself. I am covering two different videos today. The first video I have no background context on, so if you have more information on it please leave it in the comments below. Let's watch the video. Individuals prefer they as a pronoun. Like meat or bot, they are my best friend. We're, we got kids that can't read and write and then we're going to teach them incorrect grammar? I mean, it's ridiculous, okay? Who, who gave permission to talk about this? Okay, there's two genders. If you're born with a penis and you have testicles, that's just anatomy, you're a male. If you have a vagina and ovaries, you're a female. A man cannot menstruate. A man cannot lactate and breastfeed a child. You cannot give birth if you're a man. If you want to be an adult and do whatever you want with your life, I'm okay with that. Don't push this ideology on children. I'm not going to work in a district that's okay with that. You need to make a clear statement on how many genders are there because parents, are, they're, they're already pulling their kids out of public school. They're doing homeschool options. They're going online. It's going to increase as this liberal ideology comes into our schools. This isn't a political indoctrination camp, okay? It's public education. We want to teach education. I assume this guy is a teacher, and he is speaking at a school board meeting. The title of the video says that after this speech he was fired. In my opinion he is speaking plain truth here, leave your comments if you think he should have been fired, or if he should have been given a raise. The next video is of a woke college professor who visibly and verbally is angry, or at the least frustrated with a student because the student believes that police should be considered heroes. Let's watch the video. All right, so uh, you brought up the police <clears throat> in your speech a few times. Um, so what is your, like, what is your main concern? Since, I mean, About honestly, the whole reason police... Yeah. I mean, it, it, it is systemic. The issue is systemic because the whole reason we have police departments in the first place where did it stem from what's our history going back to what Jeremy was talking about what where it was what does it stem from it stems from people in the south wanting to capture runaway slaves maybe they shouldn't be heroes maybe they don't belong on a kids show uh so i disagree with the what jeremy jeremy said about it because uh i think cops are heroes and they have to have a difficult job but we have to have all of them life. Oh, I, I'm not, I mean, I'd say uh, a good majority of them. You have bad people in every business and every yet, part. Yeah. Well, wait, 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 wait. A lot of police wait. officers have committed atrocious crimes and have gotten away with it and have never been convicted of any of it. And, and I say to the person who has family members who are police officers. Yes, I, I, I understand. Um, and this is what I believe. This is my opinion. And this is, you know, not popular to say, but... Uh, I do support our police and we have bad people and the people that do bad things should be brought to justice. I agree with that. But I think that, uh, say it, I'm saying it again. They haven't. Well, I agree with you on that point of they should, right? Okay, so what is and, your bottom line point? You're saying police officers should be revered, viewed as heroes. They I, go I long on TV shows with children. That I children think they are have. heroes in a sense because they come to your need and they come and help you and they have a problem just like every other business, but we should fix that. But I think they're, they're heroes. Well, they're I think that's the program. problem, it's looking at it as a business. Because they're actually supposed to protect and serve the people. They not do the protect public. us. Who do we call when we're in trouble and someone has a knife or a gun? I wouldn't call, call the police. police. Why wouldn't you call the police? I don't trust them. My life's in more who danger would you call? in their presence. Professor, who would you call? I wouldn't call anybody. Well, would you have, if someone intruded your house involved. with a gun, what would you, would you have a gun on you or no. who would you call? Time to go. Okay. okay. I'm not going to do that. If you're with a gun, there's not much you can do with that. Calling the police is kind of just, you know. And I know that it's not popular for me to say that to you guys and, and people in here, but that's what I believe about the police. Okay. And, thank you. I appreciate um, it. Thank you thank guys you very much. for listening to my point. I appreciate it. Thanks. I will say, yeah, I'm glad you did say that, even if I disagree with you. 
it's important yeah. that, and we should fight for the right for people to say things that we don't even like right i may not agree with what you say but i'll fight for your right to say it amen bro. within some amen. extent I okay agree. folks we are I did some research on this subject matter and here is what I found. The United States inherited England's Anglo-Saxon common law and its system of social obligation, sheriffs, constables, watchmen, and stipendiary justice. Among the first public police forces established in colonial North America were the watchmen organized in Boston in 1631 and in New Amsterdam, later New York City, in 1647. The first police department in the United States was established in New York City in 1844, it was officially organized in 1845. Other cities soon followed suit, New Orleans and Cincinnati, Ohio, in 1852, Boston and Philadelphia in 1854, Chicago and Milwaukee, Wisconsin, in 1855, and Baltimore, N.D., and Newark, N.J., in 1857. Those early departments all used the London Metropolitan Police as a model. Like the Metropolitan Police, American police were organized in a quasi-military command structure. Their main task was the prevention of crime and disorder, and they provided a wide array of other public services. There were no detectives. In the South, however, the economics that drove the creation of police forces were centered not on the protection of shipping interests, but on the preservation of the slavery system. Some of the primary policing institutions there were the slave patrols tasked with chasing down runaways and preventing slave revolts. In general, throughout the 19th century and beyond, the definition of public order that which the police officer was charged with maintaining depended whom was asked. Professor, do you really think that all the people of color that join the police do so because the current state of our society resembles anything of the past? You really think the police chiefs of color serving today would agree with you? In my opinion her anger clouds her ability to make rational judgments and acceptable arguments. Instead of interrupting him she could have thought about a logical acceptable debate point. She couldn't even agree with him when he said that there are issues and they need to be fixed. And I don't believe for one minute that you wouldn't call the police if you got into some kind of trouble. How embarrassing that you are a professor and acted this way to your students. At least the other student was level-headed enough to say that everyone has the right to their opinion even if he didn't agree with it while the professor was clearly trying to shut him up and cut him off. Police officers do come to your aid, and our definition of a hero is a person noted for feats of courage or nobility of purpose, especially one who has risked or sacrificed his or her life. Her emotional reaction, her lack of composure, her negative response, and not having complete background on the subject matter is why this video is going viral. Let's see the student's response to this interaction. I think her argument was, uh, you know, she's more of a left wing person. And I think she was trying to get a gotcha moment out of me. And I just remained calm and re respectful and gentle with her arguments. And I think uh, she was trying to get that gotcha moment and to confuse me and just say, oh, I don't know. Yeah, you said, you know, a left wing um, ideology or a left wing point of view or left wing agenda. I think you're right, because clearly in the exchange that I can see here, she's talking about the police department, its history, its ties to, to runaway slaves. She's tying all of this history to men and women in uniform today trying to protect us from someone who might harm us, invade our home, or whatever it may be. And when you brought that up to her in a longer clip, you said, who would you call? Her answer was what, Braden? No one. She wouldn't call anybody. And I was expecting an answer such as uh, she would call a social worker because a lot of Democrats are calling for social workers. So she went on to tell you, by the way, that I feel more endangered by the police, which is just statistically <laughs> in, in, insane. It's a total lack of understanding of what the actual situation is in our country right now. So here's what I want to ask you, Braden, before I lose you today. What you did in, you know, you stood up for truth and, and, and rationality, but those are two concepts now that take some measure of bravery to actually say out loud, if much less in a classroom setting. Um, and you right. talked about using your, your your cool and calm, you know, approach to the argument, but but that was certainly a situation where you could be quote unquote canceled, whatever that might mean for you. I don't know, get an right. F, uh, banished <laughs> from the college campus. Did any of that enter your mind? Uh, yes, I, I, uh, when I saw the video uh, recorded that was on our Zoom, it was recorded by uh, her, um, I was worried about my grade and I was worried about my class and my future at that college. But I think to, to what to say to the college students that are Republicans or conservatives or even Christians like me, uh, don't be afraid to speak out against what they teach in college. My final thoughts are that anyone willing to sacrifice their lives for others is a hero. 
Also, people should continue to speak up for what is right and the truth. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Please share this video for education and awareness. For the Dumb Dumb News Channel, I'm Dumb Dumb.